In this video, we're going to look at how to rationalize a complex fraction. So, starting with the idea of imaginary and complex numbers, where the square root of negative 1 equals your imaginary unit, we're going to take two complex numbers, a and b, and we're going to find out how to make this into a, a number, how to simplify this fraction into a, a base to a number without a complex denominator. So to do this we have to look at complex conjugate. The complex conjugate is when we have a number, let's say it's x plus y i. Here's this is our com this is our complex number. A complex conjugate, usually denoted with a little star, means we take the real part stays the same, and the imaginary part becomes negative. Yeah, you just change the sign on the on the imaginary part. That's all the conjugate does. Very simple. That's all there is to it. But how does it help us? Okay, first example. We have 2 plus 3i. Divide by 1, that's a 1 right there, minus 2i. How can we simplify this? Well, we're going to multiply this times the complex conjugate of the denominator. Now notice that any number divided by itself is 1, so we take the complex conjugate of the bottom number, the denominator, over itself. Well, let's see what that gives us. When we multiply a complex number, we want to multiply, some people call it FOIL. Um, the first two numbers gives us a 1 times 1, that's a 1. Next two numbers give us 1 plus 2, okay, 2i. Negative i times 1 gives us minus 2i. And then minus 2i times 2i gives us positive 4. Now, Let's take a look. We up here on top we have two. We have uh, let's do the, the two imaginaries. gives gives us negative six. We have three i times one it gives us three i, and we have two times two i gives us. 4i. You have four terms, always. Of course, this simplifies down quite a bit. This gives us 2 minus 4, that's 2 minus 6, gives us minus 4. 3i plus 4i plus 7i. Divide by bottom here. Notice, when we multiply times the complex conjugate, the imaginary part cancels itself out. It's gone. We're left, what we're left with is 1 plus 4, simply 5. In other words, our fraction, well, we had a complex fraction, complex number over a complex number, now we just have a complex number divided by a real. Well, we can say this is minus 4 over 5, plus 7 over 5 i. This is our answer. Let's, let's do that again, just so we can make sure we understand what, what we're doing here. We want to multiply times the complex conjugate of the denominator over itself. So I'm going to take that number, 
our complex conjugate will be 2 minus 4i. 2 minus 4i. If we multi multiply out the bottom, we get Two times two gives us four. Four i times minus four i that's negative sixteen plus times i squared. I squared is negative one. That becomes positive sixteen. We have four times two. Seven seven i times negative four i that becomes a positive 28. 7i times 2, that's a positive 14i. And 4 times negative 4i becomes minus 16i. Let's simplify and reduce. We have 36 36, and then the 14 minus 16 minus 2i. Divide by 4 plus 16, which is 20. Now, that will simplify down to 36 over 20, or is 18 over 10, or 1.8. 8, 20 divided by, 2 divided by 20 is 0.1, so minus 0.1i. We have now taken a complex number divided by a complex number and turned it into a simpler, just a complex number. No division necessary at this point. Remember, it has to do the complex conjugate of the denominator divided by itself is how we reduce our fraction.